Well, hello folks, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. You're very welcome to the channel. And uh, although we didn't get into see the grave of John Mitchell um, because of the work that's going on at the graveyard and also of the old abandoned convent, we have come across a wee gem here. And uh, because this is the house that they actually lived in, John Mitchell and his wife, and of course, he had three sons who were in the Confederate Army, and there's a memorial here to one of the sons. So, after the Reverend John Mitchell and his family moved from the Monts at Cam Niche near Dungiven to become the minister of Newry Presbyterian Church in 1823, they settled into their new home here at Drummelin, Drummelin House near Newry. So this is Drummelin House, and. Uh, there's the remains here of a wall garden with a glass house and a, a gate lodge. So I'm assuming maybe this is the gate lodge and that's the house then behind it. As you can see, because they look like they're separate buildings. And so the Reverend John Mitchell actually died here in 1840. And he's buried at the old meeting house in Newry, along with his son John. So big connection here with the Mitchell family and as I say I reckon that's the gatehouse there that we're looking at which was during the time of John and also then the house behind it. So incredible so gonna try and get a wee look over here and then I'll show you as much as I can of this. So we're going to start with Captain John C. Mitchell, which was John Sr.'s son. And it says, Captain John C. Mitchell died on the 20th of July, 1864, as Confederate commander of Fort Sumter. That was during the American Civil War. Fantastic, isn't it? And then you can see Fort Sumter here. And I've done another video of a soldier who was actually in Fort Sumter whenever it was attacked by the Confederates. And that was up the Antrim coast. And he's, his is actually recorded, he actually recorded the opening of the American Civil War only for his journal, his diary, we wouldn't have had that. I can't remember his name, but it's, it's up the Antrim coast. So it says here, Captain C. Mitchell, eldest son of the Irish Patriot John Mitchell, was born in Drummelin. Drummelin. I don't know why I keep calling that Drummelin. And then he says, with the family, he followed his father in exile and died in secondary cause, I think that is. And so it says here the dreaded telegram from Major General, that would be Sam Jones. And it's hard to make out some of it, but it's 1864, it's dated. To John Mitchell, it is my painful duty to announce to you that our gallant and accomplished son fell, mortally wounded by a fragment of a shell, about 1 o'clock p.m. today in the faithful formation, I think it is, of his duty as commanding officer. So he was a commanding officer at Fort Sumter. And the shot that removed him was Depri the shot that removed him has deprived the country of one of the most valuable defenders. Sam Jones, Major General, Confederate States of America. My goodness, that is just incredible. So he was actually the commander of Fort Sumter. The history that we have here, we don't even realize. Incredible. And um, now you can see the door. So I assume this is the gatehouse. Or the gate lodge, should I say. So before we go up there, I'll show you what I think is the main house then. Which I think is this. This might be the main house, but I'm not too sure to be honest. This is either the main house or the gate lodge. And that could be the main house there then. I'm not too sure to be honest. 
but uh, big connection anyway with the uh, with the Mitchell family. So now to Captain John's father, John Mitchell. So this is the man here, and it's in memory of our patron John Mitchell. And it's on the occasion of the 94th All Ireland Convention, 4th of August 1919, and it's the branch of John Mitchell number 61, High Chief Ranger. And there's a photo of John. And of course, John died here, so he did. And not only did uh, did jo John die here, but uh, Honest Joe Martin died here as well. And of course, him and John met at school here in Newry and were friends for life. Both were in exile. Both stayed in the same cottage while they were in exile. And not only did <laughs> not only did John Martin die here as well, but he actually died in the same room and in the same bed as John Mitchell. So incredible. So I'll take you a wee walk down here. Pretty incredible, isn't it? The gate's very rusty, very stiff. As you can see, you need to have your weed picks to open that. Look at that rock there. Strange, isn't it? It's like honeycomb. Don't think this building's used now. Pretty wee drop there, as you can see. Maybe it is used by a company, maybe, through the week. No, I think it is. I think it is, actually. It definitely doesn't look like a tampa. Hope there's nobody living in it. I'd be to see what I'm at. So, I'll try and take you around the other side and see if there's anything we can see. But I was gobsmacked when I, I knew about the, the American Civil War connection with the Mitchells, but I didn't realise that the, uh, they had a plaque up for John, Captain John, who was a, uh, boy that gate is stiff. He was actually uh, born here in this house. So big connection, folks, with uh, this house. And the Confederate States of America. He was in charge of Fort Sumter. Or he was, in, he was over the Confederate, sorry, at Fort Sumter. Because of course the fort was held by the Union. So we can get in here. Because the gates are open. So that's the building here. Quite incredible. I think this might, well, I was going to say it might be a point, but no, I think it's, I think it's used by, oh, so this is the front of the house here. Oh, this is amazing, isn't it? So that's the front of the house, yeah. So that was the gate lodge. So this is the actual, uh, this is the actual front of the house. But it is used today, but it's used by, I think it's 
It's a couple of uses, maybe more than one. But you can see the plaque there to both John, to both to the two Johns. It says Patriots and Riders, John Mitchell, 1815 to 1875, lived here. John Martin, 1812 to 1875, died here. But uh, John Mitchell died here as well because they actually died in the same bed, but not at the same time, obviously. So quite amazing. So we'll have a wee look in. It might be apartments this, I'm not sure to be honest with you. I'm only guessing. Heavy door, push hard. You need to do that with the gate as well. So, ah, it's, a, ah, it's not apartments, it's, it's a place of work. But look at the ceiling. My goodness, it's great to see inside here. That's unbelievable. I'm going to zoom up, it's just like being in. The only thing is, it's, most of it looks modern, modern today. But sure, look at that door, look at the doorway there. You can see, you can still see the oldness of it. Look at the doorway there. The thickness of the frames. And then the ceiling as well. Look at the ceiling as well. So, absolutely fantastic. It's Ivy Brook now, whatever that is. And look at that. There's them old shutters. I love them old shutters, see them? They're excellent. The old shutters are brilliant, aren't they? They really give the, the place a feel for old. So this actually might be a clinic, I'm not sure. But it's not open today, thankfully. Otherwise they might be chasing me. But obviously you can walk around here. This is amazing. This is a wee hidden gem that nobody knows is here. Unbelievable. That's my wee car parked the other side of that gate where we were a minute ago. You can see in there, it's, yeah, it's offices of some sort. So, I'm going to give you a wee view of the front of the house here. Obviously, that's the house, and that other house I'll show you here was the gate lodge then. So, I think I'm correct in saying that. Although it is all connected. But definitely, this is the house. So, this is where John Mitchell, senior, died. And then John Martin died in this house as well uh, in the same year he actually caught bronchitis at John Mitchell's funeral or shortly after it. he probably he died shortly after so he probably caught it at the funeral and then uh, he died in the same room and in the same bed so amazing isn't it Absolutely fantastic. So thanks for watching. And God bless.